Last time on Total Drama Random Island, the teams were tasked with pulling several all-nighters until one team lost all their members. Dwayne and Pete bonded over the fact they were probably too old for this competition and Kitty is trying and failing to break Duncan's gold exterior. Jock got Sammy to open up to her to give her some confidence. That wasn't the only thing Jock did though, as Jock was able to snag Eva's MP3 player, causing her to have a meltdown that got herself eliminated. Cody is out with Millie, and Cody asks why Millie is even here. She doesn't seem like the type to do this, and Millie asks if a million dollars is enough, and Cody says it is, he's just surprised she would choose to be here, but it's probably for the best, since he was able to meet her here. Millie in Confessional says she likes Cody, she's glad she found someone just as socially awkward as her. Cody in Confessional says that Millie's nice, plus she's the only woman here who hasn't shrugged him off entirely, so he enjoys the time spent with her. DJ is throwing a frisbee with Lorenzo when John Justin asks if he can talk to DJ for a moment, and DJ says it'll just be a second. Lorenzo in Confessional says that it's not enough, he hogs all the babes to himself, he also has to go after his only friend on the island. He would totally get Justin voted off if everyone wasn't worshipping the ground he walked on. Dwayne asks Duncan if he is hungry, he brought him something from the cafeteria, and Duncan asks if he has tasted the stuff, he'll pass. Kitty goes to Dwayne and says that he isn't having any luck either, huh? Dwayne agrees and says that he doesn't understand what Duncan's problem is. Spud says that he's probably just pushing them away because he has a broken home life or something. Kitty is shocked and says that it's strangely profound from him, but Spud has already gone back to rocking out. Chris welcomes the teams to the next challenge. It's the old-fashioned game of dodgeball. The first team to win three rounds win immunity. Now go and choose which five you want to put in. Jock says that Duncan can sit out a round or two to get some rest, and Kitty volunteers as well as Pete and Dwayne. Dwayne says that back in his day, he was quite athletic. Amy asks when that was, the 1930s, and Pete tells her to respect her elders, and Amy says voting them off is the most respectful thing she can do in this situation. Jock tells Amy to put her money where her mouth is, and she says fine before pushing Sammy to do it, but Jock says that he asked for her, not her sister. Amy in Confessional says that she doesn't get it. Why is Jock getting on her case instead of Sammy's? The first round begins, and Pete runs in before his artificial knee gives out, and he's taken out by DJ. Dwayne is next after he throws a ball, and it is caught by Justin, who tells him better luck next time. Dwayne says in confessional that the handsome man is very polite. DJ tells him good job, but Lorenzo says he can look twice as cool before running in and immediately getting hit by Jock. Owen is able to get Amy out as well as Kitty. Jock is able to get every one of the screaming gophers besides Cody out. Jock runs in to try to end it, but sprains his ankle, and Cody is able to get him out, giving the screaming gophers one point. Jock says he can't go on, and they realize they need to wake up Duncan, but because he got some sleep, he is willing to help a lot easier than he was in canon. He says that they will use his strategy of rushing the new guy. It works like a charm as DJ, Owen, B, Justin, and Cody are overwhelmed by their onslaught, and they do the same thing next round to give Killer Bass two points. Screaming Gopher says that they have to copy the strategy. Sammy says that she has an idea to combat them if they are trying to copy the strategy. Amy says that it's definitely not worth listening to, but Jock glares at her and she groans before saying, fine, what is it? Sammy says that they need to put Spud up, and they have to hide behind him so he can take the first wave of attacks before counter-attacking. Duncan says that's actually a good plan. The team will be Duncan, Kitty, Sammy, Dwayne, and Spud. When the round starts, they immediately hide behind Spud, who gets pelted by dodgeballs, and they initiate their counter-attack, getting DJ, Owen, Lorenzo, and Millie out, but they were able to get rid of Kitty, Dwayne, and Duncan as well. It's just Sammy and Cody now, and Cody says that he's sorry he has to do this and is winding up. Sammy and Confessional ask what Amy would do in this situation before realizing what she has to do. Sammy asks if he is really going to hit a poor defenseless girl, and Cody freezes up before saying that that's the point of the game, and Sammy says that he's some gentleman alright if he's willing to hurt a girl. Cody freezes up not knowing what to say before Sammy grabs a ball and hits him with it, giving Killer Bass the win. Lorenzo goes over to Cody and tells him that he has one way out of this embarrassing situation. Vote with him. Cody immediately agrees. At elimination, Chris says that that was pathetic, and this is also the second week in a row that they are here. You won't cast your votes, and here's who is safe. Lorenzo, Millie, Blamely, DJ, Ella, B, Elodie, Owen, and finally, with a vote of 6-4, to four, Cody, you are out. Cody's eyes widen, and Chris says, sorry bro, the votes don't lie. Lorenzo is also in shock, saying that this should be a tied vote, but Chris says that someone must have flipped. Sorry, bro. DJ looks away ashamed. 
Millie says goodbye to Cody, and Cody tells her that the little bit of time he spent with Millie has been some of the best time he's spent with anyone. He will definitely talk to her outside of the game when she wins the million. Cody leaves, and in confessional, DJ says that he can't believe he betrayed his buddy, but he promised Justin he would join his alliance earlier. And that's that for episode 3. What did you think? Question of the week. Who do you think is also in Justin's alliance? I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.